My first guest has a marvelous article in this month's um, Penthouse magazine called 24 Guys in One Night, okay? She claims she... Yes, yes, she claims... <laughs> she claims she has slept with hundreds of rock and roll musicians. Her stories, as I say, can be seen in the January Penthouse Review. Please welcome the ultimate groupie, I would say, Connie Hamsey. And nice to have you. Thank you. Twenty-four guys in one night. Yes, I was a little younger then, but I, I still average about fifteen a night when I go to a concert. <laughs> when you say average, <laughs> having sex with them or just shaking hands, you know, having like... sex, oral sex, and sometimes regular sex, mainly oral sex. Why? <laughs> you know. I mean? Old habits are hard to break. I've been yeah, doing it a long time. <laughs> this is not what you call relationship city. <laughs> but I do have relationships yeah. with them, really. I've known most of them for so long that we're old friends. All right, let me go back, first of all, to the beginning. All right. you, you say you've been doing it a long time. What age did you say, I'm going to become... Did you ever say, I'm going to become a groupie? How did this happen? I just... Okay, in junior high, not everybody can be a cheerleader no. or on the drill team or in the honor society. So I found my niche going to concerts. And what, how did you get your first concert? How did you get backstage to find this niche? I went there very early in the day. I was determined to meet the band, and I went there very early in the day and ended up going to the hotel in the limousine. With the, with the band. Right. Were you a virgin the first yes. time? Yes. <laughs> Weren't you scared? Uh, yes. <laughs> Who did you sleep with the first time? The first time, when I lost my virginity, yeah. was with the drummer of Frigid Pink, a band that was pretty big in the... They were pretty big in the early 70s. You know the joke is obviously named, not named after you, huh? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> well, you know the joke is there to be said. Uh, that was in the early... Didn't you want to have... I... I, I <laughs> you just started sleeping with everybody, no discrimination? Or what? Who do you decide who you're going to sleep with and who you're not going to sleep with? Well, first and foremost, whoever gives me the backstage pass. Whoever gives me the backstage pass is first on the list. And to they, this day, to this day. Do they, do they know, is there, is there like a whole kind of like an etiquette about this? Like the guy that gives you the passes knows he's going to get his so to speak right it, there's a protocol yeah. that goes along with it so what is the protocol the guy that gives you the pass knows he's going to have a good time right okay how do you know who you're going to end up with when you get backstage whoever wants <laughs> to get it on but how do they know <laughs> how do they know <laughs> how do they know that that's what you're there for because I've been what? doing it so long. I've been doing it for 21 years, so I'm sort of established. Do you get, do you get paid for this? No, not at all. I substitute teach, or I did. <laughs> Was the course hygiene? <laughs> <laughs> Elementary school, K through six. So, now, how can you sleep with 15, 24 men and go back? What do you, I mean, do you consider this an example for the kids? I'm not being funny now. Explain to me psychologically how you can sleep with 24 guys. How many guys over the years, by the way, over 21 years? Hundreds, you, hundreds. Have you ever made a count, like, to yourself? A ballpark figure is probably around 500. About 500. That's a ballpark figure. What do you get from doing all this? A lot of friends. Yeah. <laughs> are they friends? So I mean, yes, do they, they get are. to know you? Like they come back and they call you up every time, every tour, every time they come to Little Rock or Memphis or within a 500 mile radius of Little Rock. I try to cover a 500 mile radius. Does it? What about your real life? You're a very good looking woman. Thank you. In 21 years, you haven't had a real relationship with a man at all? And like a, a, a no. date and a guy that fell in love with you and said, let's get married. And has this been part of I your life? I was engaged in 83, but it just didn't work out because well. the, the, concerts are, <laughs> the concerts are 
first and foremost. What do That's you, what I've lived for since I was 15. Just to, what do you get out of this, the, the closeness to all of them? The closeness and making friendships with people like Kiss and who, various bands. Who were some of the people you slept with, can you say? Yes. Kiss, you just said. Kiss, Don Henley, Fleetwood Mac, the other names that are in the penthouse article. Give a couple. Uh, I know David Lee Roth said you can't mention him. Or he didn't <laughs> him right? So we shouldn't. No. So, no, so Lee, Just because Lee, I said no, no, he no, wasn't so, very good. Uh, so, uh, oh, oh, that brings up a very interesting point. Who was good? Give me a name of who was great in bed. I have a friend that's a bodyguard for Fleetwood Mac. He's very well endowed. Huey Lewis was very good. And Don Henley was very good. Who wasn't so good? Well, the name you said earlier. <laughs> Aren't you worried, seriously, that we sit here and uh, you're still very active, is that? Yes, uh, yes. When do you feel you're going to retire? Do you want to, re you know? When they close the lid on the box is what I tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what is your, you're getting such notoriety now at us. What does your family think? Really, I uh, don't have any family. I'm an only child. My father died in 84, and my mother stopped speaking to me shortly after the funeral due to my dad's estate and problems with it. So, um, uh, so this I really is don't think... <laughs> right. This oh, is my life. It's what I'm devoted to. Don't you think maybe you should have another life? Maybe you should just stop? <clears throat> this isn't going to lead anywhere? I mean, they all have... Don't they have girlfriends? Don't they have wives, these people? Some of them do, some of them do, a lot of them do, but it has led somewhere. I've got lifelong friendships that I've made with these people. What about... Maybe not David, but... No, but... Uh, very... <laughs> when you say lifelong friendships, who did you spend Thanksgiving with? Thanksgiving, I spent with... You know what I'm saying? That's a friend, not just on the road. Do you know what I'm saying? A friend is um, someone that says, come, let's go to the movies tonight. That's a friend. Or, or sit home with me while I'm feeling lousy. I mean, that's a friend. Not just good time party girl, which I'm sure you're terrifically... I'm sure you're adorable at a party. You know, they a, call me all the time from the road. They do call you. Yeah. They call me all the time from the road. Friends of mine with the record company gave me your button. Right, so they all know you. That's they all know me. Record executives and people at the record companies. Not just the musicians, but all the crews. But now you branched out into politicians with the... That was... Allegedly. Was that a mistake? Did you think he was playing an instrument? I mean, did you know, did you know it was the I knew he was the And I had met him before. It, um, it was just something that happened. I was laying out by this pool at a hotel in Little Rock, and he sent someone out to get me. How do you know you shouldn't trust anybody? This group, I mean, this group that's, that's got a lot of groupies, you know. They don't have sex as much as the public thinks. They really don't. Connie, 15 in a night with you. I don't think these guys have waited for a year. You know, you know what I'm saying? You've a lot of things about musicians and crews and the road are sort of blown out of proportion. A lot of them have toned down a lot nowadays, especially. What about yourself? And they know me and they trust me and they know I take precautions. What about your self-esteem? You're a good-looking woman, good body. I mean, if you've been doing this for 21 years, there's a lot of mileage on you, and you still look <laughs> terrific, you know. Don't Thank you, you think you could be doing something else? This is what I want to do. This is what Just I've always wanted to do. sleep with rock stars? And their crews, because they're my dearest friends. They're my dearest friends. They're basically my family. Uh, let me ask you, how do you make money? You used to teach school. Right. I was a substitute teacher for 12 years. Well, I did the penthouse thing, and I'm currently negotiating for a book. So that's how I get by. Do they tip you if you do they? Do, you know what I'm saying? When I'm on the road with them, they take care of me. Yeah. But what about when you're off the road? What about when you've got a dentist bill and it's nine thousand dollars for I don't know for, for drainage or caps or. They, uh, <laughs> Where do you get Getting, the big money to live? Having lots of to get a good amount of protein, so you don't have it. <laughs> that, 
<laughs> that truly is the end of my show. <laughs> Stick around. 